So guys, welcome back to a very misty and cold morning in Pai, Northern Thailand. It's about 6.30 a.m. now. And yeah, my first first day and my first night went really well. I had a good night's kip. I'm fully dressed, but it is freezing, man. Look how misty it is. It's so nice and by by 11 o'clock it's going to be absolutely roasting and yeah I'm not used to that in Chiang Mai. In Chiang Mai it's just hot all the time. Here in the mountain you get the cold misty nights and mornings and hot in the afternoon. So yeah look at it. So I've got up nice and early. I went to sleep about 9pm. I was absolutely shattered. After I went to night market I come back done some editing and then just pff, crashed out so yeah I've got to move out of here today had the mosquito net up because this is a wooden hut after all and yeah I was doing some videos last night on the laptop oh, I'm gonna miss this place because you get a, you get a proper desk and it's nice you know all I could hear last night was the wildlife and fish jumping and I could hear a lizard trying to get in my room, a gecko. I woke up a couple of times thinking it's something, something in the room but the mosquito net, you know nothing can get, get in bed with you, right? <laughs> ah, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely, man. I absolutely love it here. So On was telling me last night that this place has only just opened. It's been closed for two years and I'm one of the first guests back. And I can't see any other people in them bungalows over there. But I know there's a guy next to me in this one. And someone lives in the one over here. I thought about staying here and cancelling my other one but the other one I can get two nights for the same price as this one and I, I re-looked at the one that I'm going to today and it doesn't look too bad it's closer to the town as well which I would rather stay in this location but if I can get two nights for the same as this price and we can do a review at that place as well so it's a little bit different so we'll go I'm gonna go and do it just wanted to look at the rice field this morning. And I've not seen mist for not seen mist for years. <laughs> it's just a total blackout. This is what burning season's like. <laughs> well maybe not quite this bad. It has been this bad. So today's plan, I'm going to go to the White Buddha nice and early, probably in the next hour. Get there for 7 o'clock before it gets really hot, guys. And yeah, I'm going to go and find a nice cup of tea somewhere because I'm missing my cup of tea in the morning already and get some breakfast, find an omelette or something. And yeah, then we're going to go to the Bamboo Bridge after that later on this afternoon. I think I'll do the Bamboo in the afternoon once... It'll be hot, but yeah, I'll, I'll spread out the day a bit. We'll go to the White Buddha first. Right, in here, there's a parrot that speaks four different languages. <laughs> I seen him last night and he was saying hello to me and Swadi Crab. I was hoping he was going to speak now. Yeah, and here he is. Hello. The parrot can speak Chinese, Thai, English, and something else. <laughs> Four different languages. I can't even speak one. All right, so the gate's still closed. Can I open it? Or is it padlocked? Ah, open it. So 
have a quick look out here. Pi. 6.45 a.m. Right then, ravers. Here we go again. Oh, Lucille. Oh, she's cold. Oh, she ain't been like that for a while. Better close the gate a minute. Close the gate, be a good. Be a good boy. Damn, she was sounding rough. Gosh, it needs warming up. Gosh, it's sounding rough. Cold engine. <laughs> Damn, man. Where's my hoodie? Woo. Oh, this will wake you up. That's beautiful, though, isn't it? Day two in pie, baby. Let's go. Maybe tomorrow I want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Oh, we got dogs Swanny cap Oh, I know my way how to get to this place now now I've got to move out but the other one I'm going to today my next hotel is right next to walking street so I'm gonna be smack bang right in town which will probably be better because I can walk I can walk to get some food and stuff God, Lucille's sounding like a dog Woo. It's up here I think Yes, this is the way <laughs> Come on, Lucille! Come on! Right. So I put the um, I made a trip on my dashboard. I've done 153 kilometres at the minute expecting to do at least 400 I would have thought by the time I get home so I can keep track of what I've done and I've only filled up once I'm still on the same tank of fuel as when I filled up in Chiang Mai ah this is it Bit of a climb. That's why I come nice and early. Lucille wasn't sounding too good at all, but she just cold. Right then, are we ready for this? Are we ready to tackle all these steps? Looks high. Looks higher than Rambo Tempo. So it would have been better here without the mist later on in the day. But it's 50-50 uh, it's because then it will be roasting hot and you will be sweltering. So you either come early when it's cool or 
come when the mist is gone, where it's hot, but you get better views. But yeah, we'll do it nice and early. Because you'll get a good view of the misty mountains as well. So, the big white Buddha is open from 6am to 6pm every day. So one thing I will say about Alpai is just how beautiful it is. It's a beautiful little town, it really is. <laughs> I could see myself living here, but many years ago. It's the perfect town in the wrong era. That's what I was thinking last night. So without the gym for three days, this is a good workout. I've, I've missed the gym this morning already. I would have been in the gym now. And when you miss a day, you feel like, oh, you're cheating or you're feeling fat. I need to get in the gym. Look at that. You can see the top of the mountains in the mist. That's halfway already. I was expecting it to be a real big hike. It's online, the reviews was like, oh, take, take lots of water. I suppose later on it would be, would be roasting. I made it. So this is the big white Buddha in Pai. Um, that's what the tourists have named it. The real name is Wat Pra Tat Mai Yen. But the tourists renamed it, well, they name it the Big White Buddha. The Buddha stands on a mountain east of the village of Pai. An impressive sight up close. That's what the write up says. So you've got to take your shoes off as well. So I'm going to take my take my shoes off. Try not to disturb this lady too much. And I'll just show you the mountain view again. Damn, that might have been the best view I've seen in Thailand yet. Oh, I'm glad I come up here when it was a misty. I'm above the clouds. Above the clouds, man. <laughs> no wonder Lucy was chugging. So I've seen so many pictures of this big white Buddha. Now I'm finally here. I can see the hand hands are crumbling a bit. In fact, it doesn't look. It looks like it needs a bit of repair, maybe. I've, I've been feeling, feeling alive since I've been here. I really did need this. I really needed it. Needed to get out of Chiang Mai. I feel feel alive again. I think we're going to be going on some more missions after this. There's loads of places around Chiang Mai I can go. Like Payo and Lampang maybe. So while I'm here I'm going to do a do a little prayer myself.
สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะยูยูฮะโอเคค่ะ so taking a selfie for this lady here like this โอเคขอบคุณค่ะ thank you thank you have a good day So I really enjoyed that. Right, so now I'm going to go into town, see what's going on early morning, try and find an omelette somewhere, get a bit of breakfast and a cup of tea. I can't start the day without, without my breakfast and a cup of tea. So that's what we're going to do. Just somewhere near Walking Street. I found like that pizza place I seen last night. Might try and find an omelette around there. Look, Lucille's the only one here. <laughs> Look at her down there. I was wondering what it would be like here in burning season. Surely it can't be as bad as Chiang Mai being up this high. Any pie regulars, or oh, I know a few of you live here, let me know if you're watching this. What's it like here in burning season? I mean, everybody tells me it's the same everywhere in the north, but surely it's got to be a bit better here, right? And then in Chiang Mai, let me know. So a lot of things are closed early morning, just like Chiang Mai. But I found this cool little place here that was open, 7 a.m. This guy's going to rustle me up a omelette and rice. Nice little side of the road place. Everything's around 40, 30, 40, 50 back. Yeah, cool. Got the snacks. There you go, look. Omelette and rice. 40 back. Got the rice underneath. Nice bit of soup to go with it. That'll start the day off lovely. All ready for a nice cup of tea after that. Little bit of pie on 7.30. On 7.30 in the morning. Got the Kruntai bank here lit from the tight. Tesco Lotus, 7.11. This little town is coming to life. So I've just had my um, omelette and I'm going to try and find a nice cup of green tea. I think I've seen a place down here open. So we're going to have a little walk here. I'm never up this early in Chiang Mai. Well, I'm up, but never out. Normally either in the gym or just potting around the room. But yeah, I just I can't stay in the room while I'm here because... I want to get out seeing stuff. So what we're going to do is try and find a cafe that's open. I've seen, I think I've seen one down here. We'll sit down and get a nice, nice green tea. I'm thinking about buying a cheap hoodie as well. For the ride back at 5 a.m. Just a cheap thing, if I can find something. Ain't got nothing in this one. Yeah, nothing really in that one. Yeah, I think. So I want to go back really early. And you're definitely going to need something. <laughs> See, this place is open. Breakfast, organic, it's quite busy though, isn't it? It's hardly a table free in there. Well, this place here could be a winner. Cannabis brownies, cannabis coffee. I think I'll give that a miss. Hello, how are you? Sabadi mai. 
How are you today? <laughs> it's your shop? Yeah, yeah. You sell green tea? Green tea, hot eye. Um, green tea hot. Uh, no, no cannabis. No cannabis. <laughs> Thank you. So I've stopped in this lovely lady's cafe. Art Tama. Art Tama. Art Tama. And I'm going to get a green tea here. And I met this little chap. Ah, they do the English. English PG tips. Yellow label. I could have got a PG tips. I'll get a green tea. So we've got the national anthem playing. So it is eight o'clock, not 7.30. 8 a.m. every morning. Don't know what it is, the air just feels, and I can breathe better here. Sit here and people watch for half an hour, have a nice cup of tea, and just watch pie come to life. I nearly said Chiang Mai. <laughs> Watch it come to life. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether to do the third day here. I think by today, and if I need to see anything more tomorrow, I could go home late tomorrow and do some things tomorrow as well, but not stay stay that night. So I'm thinking of doing two nights and three days. I don't actually think I need the final night. So I'm going to see the rest of everything today. And anything left over I could see before I left tomorrow, so we shall see. I've already booked two nights at the room now. Cup and cup, thank you. So I got myself a nice hot green tea. Don't know how much it is, didn't ask. But it's not gonna be the F. Thank you. That looks nice, doesn't it? Nice big cap as well, nice big mug, reminds me of back home, you don't normally get them like this, here, nice proper size cup of tea, yep very nice, half oh, tamar, back that green tea, Absolute bargain. I'm gonna come back here again. They've got these cakes on sale out front as well. Sweet potato choco tart. 50 baht, I see it. Look good, don't they? Right, that's me fed and watered for the morning. Got angle grinders going, look. No matter where we go, there's angle grinders. Oh, that lady wasn't too friendly. The camera, see? <laughs> the camera is a dodgy old job, man. You get some funny looks sometimes. But oh well, it goes with the territory. That don't bother me anymore. So I'm going to head back to the room now and clean it up a bit. Then check out at 11am, move to the new place. And yeah, we'll probably go to the market after that and the bamboo bridge. So. I'm going to chill out for a bit and I will catch you guys later on in the day.